Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, Evil Encounters God. And it is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. Now war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. At the beginning of the book of Job, we're told how the prosecutor, Satan, comes before God and maintains that, if tested, Job wouldn't be able to make the grade. The accuser of our brothers accuses them day and night before our God. This is a grave situation for When the liar, Satan, becomes our prosecutor, he doesn't have to lie anymore. He could say dreadful things that are true. And he could even use God's own law while doing so. Those he accuses have offended God. Should God God now turn a blind eye and let these people... These guilty sinners come into his kingdom? Then, if he did, the prosecutor would also come in with them because he is now a part of our own nature. This is the best weapon that a person of moral fiber can rely on. God's own law and God's own nature are incompatible with anything that is evil. Satan knows that he has the right to possess us, and he declares his rights before God because God cannot break his own law. But now, as we heard in the book of Revelation, it speaks about this great event. Satan was cast down. We heard Jesus speak about the same event when he said that he saw him fall like lightning from heaven. Recorded in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verse 18. You see, something happened and the prosecutor can no longer state his case before God. What happened was that God provided a way to save his children without violating his law. Sin is incompatible with God. Evil cannot be a part of God or his kingdom. So it seemed that the only thing that could be done was to shut out evil. That would mean that we would have to stand out in the darkness. When people didn't repent, Jesus could have just returned to heaven and humanity would have gone further down the path that we had chosen for ourselves. But instead, Jesus went to Jerusalem to settle the score with evil. But it didn't happen the way that the disciples expected it to happen. They thought that he was going to beat evil into submission. Instead, Jesus offered up his own life as a ransom. He took upon himself our transgressions. Evil and God would meet in a very different way. When God's own son took all of our guilt, all of our crimes, 
our failures, our indifference, and made it his own, his own guilt, his responsibility. When our evil encountered God's holiness, Jesus Christ bore all of the consequences. That's when the prosecutor lost his power over us and his right to us. Now, when Satan steps before God, he meets the Redeemer and he has to be quiet. His best weapon simply falls out of his hand. For it is recorded in 1 John chapter 2, the first two verses, that if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Let us pray. Lord, God, who can thank you enough for all you have done? If we didn't have you, Jesus, as our Lord and Savior, we would never dare approach your Father. We know just what the prosecutor could say about us, but you have taken responsibility for all of our guilt. You have taken our lost cause upon yourself. And now we can only thank you, Lord, and pray that we can at some time and in some way show you how wonderful it is to believe and belong to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.